Now, dito na tayo sa post ni JJ Flores at itong pangalan na hindi ko mabasa dito sa Philippine Civil Service Review for All. Ratio and proportion pa rin tayo. Unahin muna nating sagutan ito. The ratio of girls to boys is 4 is to 6. If the class has 90 pupils, how many additional girls, additional girls are needed to enroll to make the ratio 3 is to 1? By the way, kapag sinabing ratio, dapat itong 4 is to 6 dun talaga sa pinaka least. But anyway, pariho lang yan. Itong 4 is to 6 kasi dapat 2 is to 3. Pero pariho lang yan. Now, doon muna tayo sa shortcut para sa mga nagre-reklamo na ang haba naman ng solusyon nyo, ma'am. Kasi tutorial video ito at mas maganda kasing ipakita ko sa inyo yung mga ways of solving this. Huwag nyo lang kalimutan yung mga basic gaya ng kung paano mag-multiply, mag-subtract at kung ano yung ratio. Ganito lang yan. 9 times 6 times 3, obviously that is 162. Tapos i-minus mo yan sa 9 times 4 which is 36. 162 minus 36 and that is 126. Yan na yung sagot. So ngayon sa mga nangangailangan ng shortcut, masolve nyo ito within 5 seconds. Yan lang ang gagawin nyo. Now, ipaliwanag natin kung saan galing ang mga yan. Itong 9 na yan, that is 90 over 4 plus 6. 90 divided by 10 and that is equals to 9. Tapos, i-multiply mo yan by 6. At yan yung number of boys. Tapos, i-multiply natin ng 3 kasi nga, 3 is to 1. Kung i-multiply natin ng 3, ito ay total of number of girls. 162. Tapos, i-minus natin yan sa 90 over 4 plus 6, which is equals to 9. Tapos, i-multiply mo sa number of girls. 4. Multiply mo sa 4. And this is equals to 36. Now, 162 minus 36. And that is equals to 126. How many additional girls are needed to enroll to make the ratio 3 is to 1? The answer here is 126. Now, kahit ito pa ang gamitin nyo na 2 is to 3, which is pariho lang talaga sa 4 is to 6, ang sagot ay ganun pa rin, 126. Now, para mas maintindihan nyo itong shortcut na ito, doon muna tayo, or another way of solving this. Erase muna natin ito. Another way of solving this. Ratio of girls to boys. Girls... 2 boys. 4 is to 6. So, 4 si girls, 6 si boys. Let n be that number, let n be that number na yun yung i-multiply natin sa girls and boys para ang total ay 90. So, 4 n plus 6 n is equals to 90. 4n plus 6n, that is equals to 10n. I-isolate natin si n para makuha natin ang value niya. Since si 10 pang multiply sa n, pang divide na ngayon siya sa 90. So, n is equals to 90 divided by 10 and that is equals to 9. Itong 9 na yan, yan yung value ni n. So, therefore, 4 times 9, that is equals to 36. 36 girls. 6 times 9, that is equals to 54. 54 young boys. 
36 plus 54, ang total dyan ay 90. 90 sila lahat. Sa ratio na 4 is to 6, lahat ng girls, ang total nila ay 36. Lahat ng boys, ang total nila ay 54. Now, the question is, how many additional girls are needed to enroll to make the ratio 3 is to 1? Girls is to boys. 3 is to 1. Itong 1 na yan, ilan ba si boys? 54. Now, Ang girls ay dapat, yung ratio natin ay 3 is to 1. Kung 1 yung boys, which is equivalent sa 54, i-multiply mo lang si 54 by 3. Now, 54 times 3, and that is equals to 162. Therefore, Lahat ng girls, ang total sa girls ay 162. Ang total sa boys ay 54. Ang ratio niyan, kung 162 si mga girls at si boys ay 54, that is 3 is to 1. Ang tanong lang naman ay how many additional girls? Ang girls natin originally ay 36. Kaya, 162 minus 36, and that is equal to 126. Ito na yung sagot, 126. Ngayon, kung hindi mo yan naintindihan, another way pa. So, meron tayong 3 is to 1. Equals to, yung 3 is to 1 natin, yan yung girls is to boys. Tapos, girls is to boys. Yung girls natin originally, 36. Plus, ilang girls pa ba ang i-add natin para ang ratio natin ay maging equal sa 3 is to 1. Kaya, 3 is to 1 na maging equal sa 36 plus G is to 54. Yung 54, yan yung, value, yung equivalent ng 1. Yung 3, ang Equivalent ito ay itong 36 plus G. Mag-cross multiply tayo. Pero para ma-feel nyo or makita nyo, ma-visualize nyo yung cross multiplication natin, ito ang gagawin natin at pariho lang din ito. 3 over 1 equals 36 plus G over 54. 36 plus G times 1, 1 lang naman yan, so... This is 36 plus G. Next, 3 times 54, and that is equals to 162. I-isolate natin si G dyan. Since si itong 36 ay pang-add sa G, pang-minus na siya sa kabila. So, this will be G is equals to 162 minus 36 162 minus 36 and that is equals to 126 so g is equals to 126 at yan na yung sagot how many additional girls are needed to enroll to make the ratio 3 is to 1 126 Ngayon, I'm sorry pero medyo na-tired na ako. So, abangan na lang ito sa next na video. Thank you and God bless.